Okay, and we're back with all of our tools. Oh man, got me for a second. I really thought these were uh, hex heads, but they weren't. They're um, actually torque screws. They're uh, specifically T6s, which I know too well um, with uh, knives and pocket knives being the uh, one of the most popular torque spit. Um, before we even open this up, if you're ever having trouble with stripping torque spits, um, definitely go with the Made in Germany Willows. These, this little kit is amazing. Uh, goes down to T5 up to, what is it, T25? T30. Um, these work out really, really well and have uh, really solid bits in them. And it comes with a little um, tool, uh, um, handle applicator. So let's start by unscrewing all these. Ooh, magnetic, come on, stop it. So, I actually don't even feel like they were um, thread locked. Yeah. That one feels a little crusty though. I don't even think I need that. They're not tight at all. No. I have not looked at directions. We're just going to open it up and explore. Let's start with the back piece. I wonder how long these go. Oh, still going. Oh, not too bad. Okay. So those for the back. So like I was mentioning before, uh, this um, the USB um, Type A connector, which I think they've changed now in the Pro. I think that's just USB C, which is really nice. I would I would love to upgrade to the Pro. Maybe if this doesn't work after all that. Maybe I'll go and get the Pro. I'd like to get the Bluetooth adapter if that fits for this one as well. Um, but, okay, that was really easy. So that should just line up perfectly. Just got to make sure that... Uh, These guys need to bend down. Let's try that again. Good. Cool. Alright, so that'll be easy. Back plate. Move one. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh, okay. So I see the little batteries in here. I uh, did not notice. I hope I don't have to do soldering. I hope that's it. The battery can plug right into that guy right here. These little two pins because I don't see anything over here. So a little ribbon cable. For a second, I, <laughs> for a second I thought these... I forgot that these uh, um, were levers. I honestly thought they were little push buttons. I got really worried that I damaged them. <laughs> or the game damaged. Okay. So it should all slide out. How, how does this slide out? Oops. Yeah. Okay. Should we just be able to push it all out? Okay. So let's undo this. So far, this should be a really easy replacement. Let's Knock on wood, I have none. Uh, no, knock on plastic. Nice ABS polymer. Maybe that'll count. There, G10. That counts. One. Just gonna finish these off with the thumb work with your hands so often you get used to just using the phone. Okay, never mind. I take it back. <laughs> I can really get that one. My fat thumb. Nope. I'm still trying. Alright. The plate comes off. Look at that. There we go. The whole assembly Buttons, right, for the side right here. Okay, that's where those came from. Those are those guys. Here's the case, really actually, 
really light without it. And our battery. Okay, so we were right, that's where it goes. Looks like just a little bit of electrical tape. Alright, I'll have to go get some new ones. Some, some new ones, some electrical tape. Alright, how is this going to come off? Well, this is cool, because I actually still get a PCB out of it that actually does work. That um, Digital works, so I might actually keep this guy, maybe get it in a new housing, maybe like wood or something, that'd be cool. And then just use a um, little um, um, mini uh, Toslink connector. And, uh, heck, if I can get this thing USB powered with a, maybe uh, take the battery out, because I have to swap that over, I wonder if it'll get, I wonder if it'll still take power from uh, the USB. I can just leave it on all the time, USB powered, and then uh, get to use this as a, uh, an at-home DAC and then take this one, the new guy, on the road. So it looks like, I don't know if you can see that, it looks like it's just a little double-sided uh, insulated tape. I should actually disconnect that, but it's a little too tight right now. Do I have a pick with me? I do not. I did not come prepared. Actually, I had to go home and get these tools. I uh, have a good selection of tools here uh, at the studio, but um, torque screws, no. I do not have the torque bits. some more double-sided tape, we can fix that. Alright, there it is. Cool. Here's the two little batteries. And let's get this face plate off. How does this come off? Might be glued. Might be glued in there because it's on there quite tight. Oh, there it goes. Should be okay. Oops. Alright. So. Oh, okay. So this came with two lenses. Duh. Because this is a separate screen. Okay then. Alright, so this one's bad, defective. Might be able to save it somehow. I don't actually think we need to even worry about that. I don't think we'll miss it. Okay. So it looks like this should just be a direct assembly. stay away from those capacitors. This board probably doesn't get too hot. I mean, the USB will probably get a little bit warm, but I'd rather keep away from... I thought that said Nickelodeon. <laughs> I don't know what those say, but they don't say. Uh, Nikion? Nikion? Whatever. Alright. Cool, there's a little Exmos. pressure switch. Interesting. I think I have it. Yep, it does too. Crooked on this one. Alright, so let's see if it turns on. Everything should cooperate. Um, I'm going to have to do this. Oh, oh, those are metal buttons. How about that? do it this way so that those buttons don't fall out again. Well this has been one of the easiest things. I'm going to shoot myself in the foot by jinxing myself, but no really, this was pretty easy to put together. That was quite a simple fix.
well done, X Duo. Guess I should take this one off. I'm gonna leave this one on. Screws up and okay. Now what? It's magnetic for a reason. Not tightening all of them just yet. I always try and do them across from each other. No, it doesn't feel like it got its threads. Okay. Boom. Yeah, those guys should be lined up nicely. Plugged into them. Okay. Well, I am mighty excited to actually see if this guy will turn on with just USB power. I think you can actually use it plugged in. You shouldn't because you should exercise the battery, but if there isn't a battery, then there should be no harm. Pretty darn simple. Thank you, X Duo. That just made my day. Leave a note in the comments if you guys saw that new, um, what is it, the uh, X20, XA20, the balanced tube amp that they have, um, with the uh, XLR ba uh, balanced input on the front. They released a new color on their Instagram. It's this gorgeous purple red. It's like metallic. And oh my gosh, I want it. All right. Um, you know what? I think we still have time left on this video. Why not? Uh, let me go and uh, get this hooked up and let's see if it actually still works. All right, back again. This table just keeps changing. Uh, got the laptop here. We're just gonna go with the Mac so we don't have to deal with drivers. And let's go ahead and plug this all together. Brought out some headphones here so we can test everything out, see if it's working. Let's see, connect to that. Connect to that. There we go, that should be okay. Crank her on. Boom, solid. 
X-Duo USB Audio 2.0. Let's select it. Okay. And why not use my very beat up, very abused Sennheiser HD 280 Pros. Let's see if we got the sounds. Okay, let's pull up that copyright free music. Woo! Yes! <laughs> All right, we're back in business. So, that means this no longer works with this, but this did work with this. Uh, so, a couple different options I have. I can either use this and then as an auxiliary out to something, or just go digital in and see if this still works. Not sure. Not sure if these two work, but I know these do not. These do. So maybe this part of the board got fried, only the backs work. Uh, but hey, we're gonna try out, and, excuse me, I don't know why I'm talking over the music. Let's uh, try out and uh, see if this USB works. I'd really like to see if that works, because then this could be a really cool DIY project. Uh, that'll definitely be for another video and um, whatnot. Um, but yeah, all right guys, thanks for sticking around. I have now repaired my X-Duo XD05 and I can definitely now do a review of this thing. I've really enjoyed it. It is, for the money, I think one of the best portable DAC amps you can get. Um, let's see. Yep, cool. The Cos CKPH30Is, yeah. And then here, let's, why not? Let's just throw in an IEM here. Just keeping it going. These are the tin T3s. Yep, yeah. cool. All right, we're good. Thank you for sticking around for this video. I feel so much happier. I'm gonna actually now enjoy this for the rest of the night. Um, but thank you for coming by and see you all in the next one. Take care.